So it's been four years. How are they holding up? Are they any good? Should you buy them? More importantly, would I buy them? Let's talk about that. Okay, so here's the story. So spring of 2016, um, my channel was still very young and I was approached by a representative from Canadian Tire. Would I like to have some tools? Would I like to do a review video? And at the same time, it was a big marketing push because at the same time, uh, John Heiss, Matthias Wandel, Elaine, Elaine Vancouver from the uh, Woodpecker Shit Channel. Uh, so the four of us, and i probably forgetting somebody, um, we were all approached at the same time. They really wanted to get a whole group of YouTubers to take a look at their tools, try them out, make a video. It was a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes when you're dealing with marketing companies. Um, it was just a headache. Um, it was, uh, you know, I'm kind of glad I did it because it was an educational experience. And um, so anyways, that's sort of the background story. Bunch of YouTubers were all approached. We all did some sort of a video. And um, during the course of that video, I made some sort of offhand comment about, um, you know, they're brushless, they should last longer and ask me in five years. And it hasn't been five years, um, but I mean, it's four years ago and I've basically, you know, totally forgotten about that video. And I got a comment the other day from somebody who said, well, it's been four years. How are they holding up? And, you know, I, I responded and I explained that they're holding up okay. And it just sort of reminded me and I took another look at the video and I saw that comment and I'm like, you know, I should make a follow-up video. Um, uh, for one thing, it's easy to do, let's be honest. But for another thing, you know, so often you see first impressions or people unbox things and not really how are they holding up after several years. And I mean, you can still go to the store and buy maximum Canadian Tire brushless tools right now, but they may not be identical. So um, that's one of the reasons I, I've heard a couple other uh, well-known YouTubers where they're like, they don't want to do reviews because, you know, all they can really tell you about is the particular tool that they bought. Because for one thing, you know, you get lemons, just like you get lemons with cars, you can get a lemon off the line. So you might have a terrible experience with a tool and everybody else is fine. Or they might have uh, changed something about this tool two years later and, and now the tool that you buy is different than this one. And so. Just accept all of that as said, and um, let's talk about this for a minute. Here's what we're talking about. This is the Canadian Tire Maximum 20 volt brushless uh, cordless drill, the impact driver, and the uh, cordless circular saw. This one came with a large 4 amp hour battery. Um, for the rest, there's just a bunch of two amp hour batteries, lithium ion, of course. Um, and I've used them a bunch over the last four years. And in terms of a very quick review, they still work. I still use them. They haven't broken, um, but also I'm a hobbyist. Um, I am not using these eight hours a day on a job site. I am not even, <laughs> I'm not even using these probably not even 12 hours a week. I mean, you know, you're a hobbyist. You get into the shop in the basement or on the weekend. I mean, sure, I have a YouTube channel, but I also, this is only part time for me. I'm doing, I'm doing this evenings and weekends, just like any hobbyist is doing things weekends. And I still, I have these lightweight 12 volt units also and in my shop these are generally what I reach for first because they're lighter so if I'm pre-drilling a hole for a screw I'm usually grabbing this or if I'm driving a screw I'll grab the small driver um, these are the what I grab for when I want something more heavier duty um, just the other week I was doing some repair work on the fence so I'm driving three inch construction screws into you know, pressure treated lumber and this thing, uh, I ran the battery dead because I was using it outside for a couple of hours and it just three inch screws, one after the other, after the other, no problem, sank them all. Uh, 
but in the hobbyist wood shop, yeah, this is, I'm often scared I'm gonna, you know, break the piece. So I, I'm not gonna use this big thing too much in the shop, but general around the house use, awesome. It's still very light. And the drill, uh, I use this actually a lot more than the impact driver, as you might expect. Um, I'll use this for drilling pocket holes and using my doweling jig for when I'm drilling out the dowel holes there. I need, this is way too lightweight for that. Um, before I had this big cordless drill, I would use actually a corded drill for drilling out my dowel holes because it just and, and pocket holes because it just was, you need, you need the strength. So anyways, you know, four years, I've used this, I've done a lot of projects over those four years. It's still strong. Still going well, hasn't broke down. Um, I don't like circular saws. I said that in my original video. I never liked circular saws. I found them kind of scary. They're big, they're dangerous. This is smaller and lightweight and totally changed my view. I use this now often with breaking down lumber. I used to always grab my uh, jigsaw for uh, when I'm cross cutting off, you know, like a four or six inch board. Um, before I start breaking it down on the bandsaw or the joiner, I would cross cut it to rough size. Now I'm usually grabbing this thing and it, it's small enough that if it pinches, I'm not scared that it's gonna jump and cut me. Um, it had, cause I, you know, I have jammed this fairly easily, but uh, the electric brake is awesome. Stops the blade very quickly. So yeah, I use this for occasionally breaking down sheet goods and for cross cutting, let me show you. Piece of cherry five quarter, you know, this is the sort of thing. I'll reach for the saw, cross cut it to length before I start working on it for a project. Um, a lot of people have a miter saw. I have a miter saw, I almost never use it because just of my shop layout. So I'm more using a handheld tool when I'm breaking down rough goods. A lot of other woodworkers, they first go to the miter saw and do that. But, but also out in the shop, when I was working on the fence the other day, I was using this along with, you know, you just take a framing square for lining things up. So when it comes to sheet goods, I'll use this simple cutoff jig, half inch plywood with a fence. First time you use it, it it's cut to fit and it lets you take a nice straight cut on a piece of plywood. And uh, it's not, not exactly table saw quality, but it still is pretty good. So, hey, Art, you're saying, that sounds great. You're talking them up. They're positive. You're still using them. They're still working. That's that's really positive. So would you recommend them? Uh, would you go out and buy them if you were starting over? And no, I wouldn't. I won't say that I don't recommend them. It's just when it comes to cordless tools, you're buying into the battery system because they all use the same battery. And um, so you can swap your battery from this drill to the saw, though you usually want a beefier one on the saw, to the other drill and to the other assortment of tools. And that's where it falls down because I've been looking around and I'm thinking that I would like to get a trim router, a cordless trim router. I've got you know, the, I've got this trim router and it's got this long cord and I've seen a few other people on YouTube who have switched over to cordless trim routers. And it's like, yeah, it, on a trim router, a cord is, I, I find it can be a safety hazard because you can be working on a big piece and you're going around and all of a sudden the cord catches either because you're at the end of it or because it goes under the corner of your bench or something. And, and, and you know, at, at the worst you can, hurt yourself, but I mean, at the very least, you can damage the piece quite easily. So I would really like to get a cordless trim router. There isn't one. Um, same with uh, maybe a cordless sander, though I'm, I'm, I'm less... A cordless trim sander would also be nice not to have this cord dragging around. Um, I'm, I'm, that's less of a thing for me. I, 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 would, uh, I, would, I would buy a router tomorrow if I could, but there isn't one. I, I've been scouring the Canadian Tire website. They've got, you know, the impact driver, the drill, the saw. You can get a reciprocating saw. You can get one of those cordless multi-tools, oscillating multi-tools, like, you know, the fine and, and, and those. You can get a hammer drill. You can get, um, you can get a vacuum. <laughs> 
and you can get uh, an impact wrench like you would use on a car. And that's it. Uh, you can't get a sander, you can't get a router, <laughs> you can't even get a radio or a flashlight, which again, I don't really care about those, but you know, all these people on job sites, they've got their radio going all the time. Um, I, I, the, 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 that impact wrench is sort of struck me as like, you know, Canadian Tire, their roots are, are in uh, DIY car maintenance. Um, and you know they are a general hardware store supplier, but yeah, that that made me that made me think that sort of it's like, yeah, the 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 the, the DIY person at home or the person working on their car is probably totally happy with these. The woodworker, I'm like, I, I yeah, I, I'm kind of disappointed in that. It's like, come on, Canadian Tire, can you expand the line and and you know. And there is no compatibility, you know, you can't, you know, there's no compatibility across brands. There never is. You can't go from a Canadian Tire to a DeWalt to a Milwaukee to a Rigid or, you know, any of those. They're always on their own, which is really annoying. It'd be nice if they all just sort of would settle on the one battery system. And that's the whole story, you know. Four years later and these things are working great for me. I still use them all the time. They have been perfectly fine as a hobbyist. I'm disappointed that the line has not been expanded to include a, a, a trim router or a, or a sander, like I said. I, I really would like it to expand that way. So yeah, if I was starting fresh, I, I personally, as a woodworker, would probably look at one of the other tool lines out there. Uh, as a home hobbyist who, you know, maybe a saw and a drill are all you need, they're fine. And... I think that's about all there is to say. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found something interesting. And yeah, if you feel I've earned it, please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.